a few days ago. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Rantaro? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Okay. Now, the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. Um... Well, the truth is, this isn't your first... What? Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. What? No matter what. So Rantaro won the killing game? Live and let lit let the laugh mongoid world live. We went after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I head to the dining hall as always. Uh, good morning, um... everyone. Yeah, yeah, good morning. Good morning. <sighs> There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. Oh, can you fucking bleep? That's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this. I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gunter will eat you instead, Suichi. Huh? Uh, he'll eat me... Don't you mean my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gunta, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. He's probably looking at those words again. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. Atmosphere is heavy. Evan's really taking the mental beating. They'll do that to you in these games. Hey. Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Yumiko? Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Uh. <laughs> hey. I didn't mean you should say louder. Weirdo. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Mm. Of course I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tanko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. Oh my god, that's adorable. So in order to make their deaths more heavy meaning, I decided to live my life with positivity. So anyway, please take care of the... New me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already? You're going full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live for all the others' sake. Right? Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is getting it's just getting started. Huh? Game? Oh. Huh? Isn't that what we were talking about? <sighs> But now there's less people. I might be the next victim. Wow. Wow, so exciting. I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess it's the same for everyone else. <laughs> Always messing Still saying crap like that at a time like... 
Just then the door to the dining hall burst open and Gonta came out talking about the weird rock thing, I bet. Uh-huh, here's Gonta. This big Everyone, this is serious! Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Oh. Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonta went to courtyard before coming here. Could it be the graffiti? Was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Alrighty. This world is. Huh? I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords, or maybe Wait. just world. Oh. What about the world? What does it mean? It's this... well. Fuck. 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 Hmm. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Could you not huh? say that? What? All right, that's just a habit of hers, but my heart skips a beat every time. Because no one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know. So seriously, none of us here wrote it. Is this a prank? You better speak up. But. But Gonta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticeable prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Well, of course, just. Well, it could just be Gonta writing it since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that. Gonta never do that. Going to never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? More and more gets added. Okay, let's look at this. This world is something something. I have a feeling that's what it's going to be. This world is something something it's it's gonna say something like that more and more gets added who's doing it what does it mean Ugh. well it's good well done. fuck didn't finish reading that well i don't really get it but maybe it's some kind of clue thanks for the report gunta Gunta, just get to help. Oh, yeah. Gunta wants to help, even little. Tell Gunta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, God. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't get to tell Gunta what to do anymore. Gunta. Yeah. Gunta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Man. It's boring. Oh, my ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Mm, are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually, your face? It's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize! Just, just one and it's just monothene? Thing? I'm so adorable! Yeah. Ah, what's an air sign? Oh. oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death of our mascot, you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mascot, get it? That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. Hmm? By the way, who's the pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? What the hell is up with Monotaro? Monotaro's head is busted. One solid rock should make him remember. <laughs> that was awesome. Ouch! That was two. Uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? Oh my god, Carl! Oh my lord! 
Oh, I, oh my god, oh my god. Your character is completely different now. Pops, my family, and you. Thank you for loving me. Come on, remember already. Boing, boing, boing. Fuck. I can't. I could watch them forever. Fascinating. Why did I say fantastically? God damn, I'm an idiot. I've had enough of them. Hey, give us some loving too. I want my reward already. When did you get so friendly with my Kumakokichi? Okay, okay, the prize this time is. Three prizes? A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive, too! Oh, we're getting the motive already? Motive? Hey! Did you say motive? Yeah! Yep, this mysterious card key is your next motive! How nice! The classic character stick approach. No one can work a character or stick like Daddy! Huh? Screw your carrot and your stick. You mean whiffs and change all the way? You know, a card key is the motive. What does that even mean? It probably opens that weird room. So the new area you can open with the card key? Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink. I'll take that card key then. Koshi used his little buy to his advantage and took the card key, card key from Monokuma. But Monokuma no, had that. it. But the Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Huh? I won't mind that at all, you know. Huh? What? Wait, why are we so because... shocked by this? Because this is the killing game, and we're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. We're screwing around. Just give it to us. No way. See ya! It probably opens that door in the library. What else would it open? That's enough! Hey, wait up! Kokichi ran out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaito. A lot of K names in this game, I just realized. Right in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose, suppose, suppose boys will be boys. Yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. I wonder what memory jail and cover next. Happy hunting! So long, farewell. I'll be to say goodbye. Yeah. Huh? What's so long, farewell mean? You forgot that too. Come on, let's go. So long, farewell. I'll be to say goodbye. Wait! Oh, what should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But... But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well... That's a good idea, but let us look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Suichi. Then, all right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah, yeah. Suichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually, oh, I see. So Suichi gets that honor. Mm. Suichi's so amazing. Going to want to be useful to everyone too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Okay, going to hope that time comes soon. Uh, no, you should hope that doesn't come. Okay, where to begin? Let's search for a place to use these mysterious items.
Okay, well... I think the... F I mean, I could cheat and use the map, but I really don't want to do that. I know for sure there was something on the fourth floor. So I'll just do that. Maybe during the, my off time or in between parts or something, I'll probably look around every single room. See if I can find the hidden Monokumas. I'm pissed I never found the hidden Monokumas. Like, I've missed two of them in the previous chapter. I missed the one in the class trial, and I know there was probably another one hidden somewhere that I just missed. That kind of pissed me off, but oh well. I can always find them later. Well, if I'm going to be replaying chapters anyway, I might as well replay chapter 3 then. I mean, I'll have to replay chapter 1 and two, or 2 to get Rantaro and Kirumi. Not Rantaro, Ryoma. Plus, I could just replay the whole entire game to get uh, Monokuma coins anyway. Okay, seriously, what the hell? I thought I saw him on a kumo over there. Will you even let me go into this, these rooms? Nope. Plus, that seems like a good way to level up, too. It's strange, I never got a trophy for getting to level 55. Or 50, 50 I mean. Here you said how you come to terms with the terms how you live. Of course, I understand what you mean. By facing Kaede's death, I was able to embrace my own town and move forward. But I don't know if I'll ever truly understand your answer. Fuck you. I could never back down from this claim that the dead can be resurrected. Scanning is normal, I know that. But is it so abnormal that something like that could happen? I have a feeling the... Why were the... What the hell? Oh, weird. I know the brush is probably used for this thing here, but... What in the world would... Oh, I just realized Beautiful Life is still playing even though we're on this floor, okay. Four? Well, okay. A staircase. It seems like you go upstairs from here. Hmm. Fifth floor, huh? How many floors does the school have? This might be the last one. Sumugi? How the hell did you get up here? Whoa. Oh, this looks like the cosplayer's room. Hey! This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? Huh? The door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? Yeah, I think it is. It looks like it's your ultimate room. Ultimate lab. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Yep, it's the ultimate cosplayer's room. Amazing. It's like an event venue. This must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Giant studio set? What the hell? This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There's a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. Smack around all the shit I don't need. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sewing machine and work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes? This is another set for photo shoot. shoots. It has quite the gothic feel. This looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. So Mugi spoke to your Julie and sat down at the table in front of the counter. What counter? I knocked hey. it away. Hey, Suichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. Are we gonna get crunk? I used to make them a lot as my part time job. Don't worry, it'll be non alcoholic, of course. Fuck yeah. you! Uh, okay, I'll take one. Oh, this is adorable. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Huh? Uh, sure. Give it all you got. Give it everything to me, Sumugi. Oh, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. <laughs> what? What? What is this feeling? I feel I'm suddenly feeling charitable. Let me give you all my Monokuba cards. No, it's Luigi! Thank you. What kind of part-time job did she have anyway? Making mixing drinks like this? Uh bartender? Bartender, I really did it this time. Broke my parole to have a good time. When I got home, it was 6 a.m. The door was locked, so I kicked it in. Kade was dead on the floor. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> okay, that was enough. With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink Sumugi handed to me. Shuichi! Please come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Wait, what? But, wait a second. <laughs> Do I get another one? There's liquid in the bottles, too. You said she'd work in a place like this before. What kind of right there? I just have. Alright, Sumugi. Uh, even with all the materials and tools, if it's by myself... Hmm. I see. Cosplaying is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. Do you want to try? Hey, Suichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Yeah, sure, why not? Huh? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. Awesome. Make me the protagonist from Nocturne. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? Oh my god. Look at my drool! But... Ah, uh, but I'm investigating right now. Alright! Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. Awesome! I actually have a you few... Can't. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. Um, okay, Sumugi. I will be honest, um, guys, I would love to cosplay. Um, cosplay is one of those, I genuinely, I admire cosplayers. Um. There's, there's always been three, and now there's four, but I can't remember one of them, so I guess right now it's three. There's always been three um, things that I wanted to cosplay as. Uh, number one was the, like I said, as Suichi, the protagonist from Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, uh, the Demi Fiend. I feel like I could really pull that off. I just need to, you know, maybe work out a bit. And um, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously you don't need to like be exactly like the characters, but um, you know, he's shirtless throughout the whole thing, and I feel a little more. Com 
I'd feel comfortable in myself if I was, uh, you know, a little more fit. Um, oh, is that my ultimate room right there? That's a the magnifying glass. Um, and, oh boy, here's a key. I guess that's going to be our price for the next one. This orc certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. Doesn't look like it will open. I suppose I'll have to leave it for now. Um, so yeah. And, uh, the protagonist from Persona 3, I feel like it could really pull that off, too. And the protagonist from Persona 5, I would love to be, uh, I would love to be Joker from Persona 5. I forgot who the other one is. There's, there's someone else I feel like it could do, too, but... I'm trying to think here. Who would it be? I mean, it's not so much as a cosplay, but I would love to be, uh, Spider-Man. I feel like I could do a, a good Spider-Man. Alright, Maki. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god, but then there's this. Be calm as gods! Be calm as gods! Is that coincidence, or just my coincidence of humor? Hey, here's my room! Finally! My ultimate lab! Yay! All right. Just check it out to be sure. Huh? What is this? That's true. This looks like your research lab. Uh, okay. It is, right? Well... Let's see what's in here, but... I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? Great. That's awesome. Wait, why do you have to get a bad feeling from my room, huh? That's so bullshit. Okay, well, first things first, let's smack everything away that I don't need. Why is there a picture of Theodore Roosevelt right there? Uh-oh. Did I do that? Oh, what the hell is this? Chemical stuff? Um, okay. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit triangle. God damn it. Seriously, it's not even gonna let me investigate this thing? Oh, hello. I would have never thought I'd done that. Well, okay. Not what I would have done. Well, I guess there's only two things to look at. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? Got a minute. Looks like poison. I know. Poison? So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that could be normal unless in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Hmm. Yeah, I know some of these are. They're definitely yeah. poison. In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. What's the point? Even if we get rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. Temporary solution? She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way. From here, even so, I'm surprised they they have oh, there's poison for invest institutions death as well. As ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you get them, you could set up a different gimmick. But... That's... This doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab. More like a chemicals it's lab. Like, it's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I 
suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminal and detective. Oh, okay. I can't remember if I smacked that out before. Bookshelf, huh? Hmm. It's a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? Pick them up and at random and flip through it. Huh? Ah! It can take photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprit use. Culprits use. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly threw the other files and found what they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all tricks used for murders. That's. It appears so. Well. Did this incident really happen? No, I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? And this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. Oh, great. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. I can pick up a fat uh, I'm sorry for through it. Got a minute? This file doesn't have any photographs. It's just like it's all just drawn illustrations, huh? but illustrations? Why can't you be pulling files one after the other off the shelf? Okay. The new files have photographs. The other ones have illustrations. Uh um but why? Are the old ones just fictional? First few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Uh, most likely. Anyway, I investigated all the places that concerned me. Hmm. Everything here has to do with death. Because. Well, this is your job as detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. Detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Do you want to die? Why are you so upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? Huh? You'd kill me just for that? That's right. No, I understand why Makiro would say that. Your face looks pretty gloomy. Uh, what? Where the hell did you come from? Kaito. Kaito? The face as gloomy as that? I can't believe you're my sidekick. Uh, my face? Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Suichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks? That's true. That's why you should be careful. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me? Don't worry about it. Nah, you don't have to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. You're also the playable character. I don't Leave think they would me. die, unless they really want to fuck us up this time. I'm going to protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. Understand. Well, if I end up as a future culprit. Huh? You stupid. That's impossible. Ew. I can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. Huh? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. Believe in the me who believes in you who believes in me. If they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're all, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Makiro. Stop calling me that. Oh, I like that face of hers. By the way. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. Let's track them. Couldn't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um... Couldn't find him. But he still has that moto card key, right? Ah. Yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kikichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the flashback light. Ah, uh. uh, you found one? Of course. I'm worried about Kikichi, but I think we should deal with this first. I still have one thing to use, guys. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming too? Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, wait a minute. There's... There are other places I want to check out first. Can I meet up with you later? Yeah, seriously, I still uh. have this thing. Oh yeah? Then I'll go ahead to the dining hall. Well... You're not 
not going to check this place? I believe in I'll let Suichi handle it. You got this, right, Suichi? Uh, um... Yeah, right. <laughs> then once you're done, come to the dining hall. Didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. But I'm the one that does all the work here. What the fuck? Ew. Okay, but no, seriously, where the hell am I gonna put this stone thing?